Today I will explain everything you need to know about Perch in Revit, which can be found under Manage and Settings. So Revit models can get really cluttered, complex and bloated as your project grows, and the risk of getting a corrupt file increases. One way to keep things neat is to purge it. So what does Perch do? It detects and removes unnecessary data from your project that can be unused views, families and other objects that are not in use. This will improve performance of your Revit model and reduce file size, making the file more pleasing to work with. It's like you have a bunch of things that you don't use. It just takes up space, so we get rid of it. You can see that taking out the trash or cleaning your wardrobe of clothes you don't need. Let's go back to Revit and purge unused dialog box. Here we have a list containing all the objects and data in the project that are not currently in use and will be permanently deleted from the project if the purge command is used. For instance, there are three different kinds of floors and two structural plan template views that are not in use and will be deleted. So let's put the structural view demo in use by creating a new view and see if it still remains in the purge unused list. It's now created and let's open up the purge unused dialog box again and open the structural view and as you can see, if we compare the old to the new dialog box, our structural view demo is gone because it is now in use. We will also like to test the floors. So we we'll create a new uh, floor and assign it to floor 50 mm isolation. We open up the purge unused yet again and see. And as you can see, this floor has been removed from the list. It can no longer be deleted from the project using the purge command. Open up our 3D rebar view and then purge dialog box to see all the rebar shapes that will be deleted. Just expand this table and we see all the rebar shapes. No, let's see the rebar shapes in the project browser. Let's just uh, find them right there. Yes, a rebar shape. We go back to the purge unused dialog box and we hit purge. So the rebar shapes not in use in the project are now permanently deleted. So, okay, I think you got the point. Something to notice that it might require several rounds of purging the project to remove all unused objects. Some elements are nested in other elements. For example, any families that are listed may be using materials that are in the project. So when you purge out a family, its materials now might be unused in the project. And when you next launch the purge unused dialog, you may see additional materials that can be purged from the project. So a couple of things you need to be aware of before you purge. First, it is recommended that you create a backup project file just in case something goes wrong and you regret the purge decision because purge can be undone. So when to purge? When reaching a milestone, I suggest. It is nice to take a break and clean up the model when reaching a big milestone. So when starting the next phase, the model is performing better and is reduced in file size. And then remember, I would not recommend purge at the start of the project. That is not necessary and you might add deleting some useful objects that it's set up, that has been set up in the template uh, file. One last thing, it's important to carefully review the list of elements to be purged before proceeding and make sure that you are not deleting anything important because by default everything that can be purged is pre-selected. So, okay, that's conclude this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and please like and subscribe for more extremely fun videos. Thank you for watching.